Hello everyone, my name is Emily and this is another Heart to Heart. I wasn't expecting to make another Heart to Heart video anytime soon, but a few days ago, Bailey J, an artist here on YouTube, released a video talking about Art Block and I just had to make a response. You would be doing yourself a great service to go ahead and go over to her channel and watch the video there. It is linked down below as well as an annotation right here. Essentially, she's talking about how Art Block does not exist and more or less when people People say they have art block that they're really just using it as an excuse to not create art. She seems to be speaking more of the professional type of artist, those who have deadlines and things like that that are working for someone else or have clients, opposed to those who do it as a hobby. And I think that's where this kind of confusion came about because if you guys didn't already know, I believe it got over 2,000 dislikes and the top comments are all saying that Bailey is being insensitive to those with mental illnesses that prevent them from just buckling down and working. They're saying that it's not just that easy. If we create art when we're uninspired, then the art will be bad. Or some people are just saying, wow, Bailey, you're a bitch. And that's kind of just it. Like there isn't really a point to their comments. They're just there to stoke the fire. Typical internet trolls like, yes, yes, watch it burn. Everybody's mad. You're mad. You're mad. She's mad. <laughs> Triggered left and right. So I'm going to go ahead and try to clear up some of this confusion. Let me say this right now. I am not Bailey. I cannot speak for her. I cannot speak to what she was trying to do with the video. But what I am going to do is voice my own opinion about how I understood and interpreted this video and talk about how she said these things and why she said these things and what I think she meant. So let me get that out of the way right now. Again, I am not Bailey. No idea what she was trying to do. This is my interpretation and these are my opinions. Let me start off right off the bat by saying overall I do agree with Bailey's point. I feel like art block was just a phrase put on a momentary lack of inspiration. It, it's a weight, it's a hindrance in our progression as artists. To even utter the words, if you know anything about basic psychology, to even utter the words I have art block is essentially just telling yourself and others that I am blocked from doing something that I either love or that I have to to do. It is a verbal confirmation of a fear that all artists, creators, musicians, etc, etc have to deal with. And that fear is at some point in my career, will I stop growing. And you may argue with me and say, but Emily, when people say they're going through an art block, it never implies permanence. It usually implies that they're just kind of faltering for a moment or a few weeks or a few months or what have you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. I get that is how it's implied. But when you're blocked from something, you are kept from it. You are literally completely unable to do something because you are blocked. The definition of block. I cannot get to this place. So by using the word block, it essentially means you are completely incapable of creating art and that is just not true. You could sneeze in a tissue for all I freaking care. There you go. That's art. Your mucus on that tissue is art. If it's cloudy, call your doctor. But other than that, it's art. You are not incapable of creating art, mostly because everything can be construed as art. But overall, we're talking about traditional artists, illustrators, digital artists, graphic designers. That's what I'm trying to touch on right here. Um, and I understand that people have mental illnesses like depression that can want to pull you away from not just art, but anything that you love and you feel mentally, emotionally, and physically incapable of creating or being around or doing the things that you love. I understand that and I guarantee you Bailey was not trying to say like, well, if you say you have a mental illness and that you're trying to avoid art and that's just an excuse, I guarantee you she was not trying to say that. That's not even kind of what she implied. I think she was more trying to say that if you say you have art block, you get in the mindset of believing you have art block, and that is just not true. You are never incapable of creation, ever. Being an artist means fighting for inspiration sometimes. It means fighting for your work. It means fighting for your worth. It's an uphill climb constantly. And what's beautiful about being an artist that 
creates, you will never stop growing. Don't you ever believe for a second that you will plateau for the rest of your life. That is not true. As long as you have a pencil, paper, what have you, you will not stop growing as an artist until you are dead. And depending on what you believe, you may not even stop there. There is no such thing unless you give up. There is no such thing thing as some kind of stunted growth as an artist. Yes, you may plateau for weeks, months, even years, but as long as you keep putting your nose to that goddamn grindstone, you will never stop growing. Times will be hard and turmoil will always find you one way or another, but when those times come, you have to hold on to the hope that, hey, if it can get this fucking bad. There's got to be some kind of sunshine waiting for me around the corner. And it's not always around the corner. Sometimes around the corner can take years. But holding on to what you love and what makes you happy, that is what can keep you going. That is what propels you forward. That is what creates an artist. Pain, suffering, joy, intensity, that is what makes art, art. Now, on to the part of the video that I disagreed with. And again, let me just start off by saying I agree with all her points. The issue I take up is with how she went about communicating and conveying these points to her audience. Yeah, there was an air of kind of snippiness to the video, and I understand she was trying to kind of put a foot down and, and create this ambiance around the video of this is tough love and this is a rant, and I, but it did kind of come off a little bit as her putting down those who believed or still believe in art block. And there are some people who will disagree and say no, art block is a very real thing. And, you know, it's kind of like a, a matter of personal beliefs. I, I don't like saying I have art block. I like telling myself, okay, you know what? I'm slowing down a little bit. I'm having a little bit of a hard time getting inspired. What do I need to do to step away, take a breath, come back, and be able to look at this with you know, a fresh pair of eyes. And she definitely, at the very beginning of the video, gave some outs. Like she said, you know, look through a dictionary and paint, you know, paint the first words you see or whatever. But I, I don't think it's about specific coping mechanisms like you do X, Y, and Z. It's about individuals and how they deal with stress or be feeling uninspired. Everyone is different. It's kind of a matter of trial and error. What works for you and what doesn't work for you. What may work for you will not work for others. That's something I really think y'all should keep in mind. And again, you know, I know how she said it with the kind of snippy here and the snippy there, and I, I get it. But I also understand that she's not trying to be an asshole here. She's not trying to be like, okay, honey. Like, I get there's like little sprinkles of, ooh, that's a little, a little edgy, a little edgy for Bailey, a little, little bit of snip there. And I get that. And I don't think she's trying to do that to be a mean person. It's just to kind of create, again, like an air of this is tough love. This is a rant. This is me putting my foot down and saying how I feel. And I don't often see videos from Bailey that are like that. And I've seen some of her vlogs on her vlog channel as well. And generally, she's just a very positive, fun, bubbly person, very down to earth. So to see her put a video out like this is very out of character. And it's a little bit jarring, to be very honest. And it does seem out of character the way... You know, some people with tough love, I'm a very tough love person. I am a strict person. I run my household with a little bit of an iron fist. So stuff like that coming out of my mouth in my everyday life would not seem at all weird. Um, but I would also know how to phrase it in a way that didn't seem like I was talking down to people. And again, I guarantee you that's probably not at all what she meant. She was just trying to create this ambiance in this video and she sort of failed at doing that. It came out more as like, if you believe this, oh my God, like you don't like art as much as you think you do. And again, like I, I don't think that's what she's trying to say, but uh, 
basically that's the component of the video that I believed failed. I do not think she deserves all this aggression and negativity and people saying, well, you don't, you know, you don't understand because you don't have a mental illness. And it's just like, God, like, I, I, no, that's not at all. People are just blowing it way out of proportion. And maybe by me making this video response, I am contributing to the problem. But I'm trying to draw it back and have people kind of look inside themselves and be like, okay, are you guys overreacting just a little bit? You know, maybe she was just, again, tried to create a message and kind of failed at the way she delivered the message. I did read her edit comment down below and it was a lot more concise and a lot more in character. But overall, let's do a quick little overview of what I went over. I, I agree with her points. Her points are that when you say you have art block, you are basically putting a damn ball and chain on your artistic prowess, and it's just never good. Um, you should never try to make excuses for yourself um, to stay away from art, especially if it is your career. You just have to do it. It has to be on a to-do list. You have to run down, do grocery shopping, go vacuum the front room, work out, and then, you know, draw or do figure drawing or whatever, create a video for YouTube, etc., etc. You just gotta do it. If you're, if it's a career and it's something you wanna get better at, there's no excuse. You just gotta buckle down and do it. But also on the flip side of that coin, there are gonna be times when you are uninspired, unhappy, and sad, and you need to step away for just a little bit. You don't want to step away for too long and drift away from something that you love very much. Find a way to cope with being uninspired. Take a walk, you know, go outside with your dog or animal or go on a date night. Do something different so that you can come back to your artwork as a refreshed, de-stressed person. And then on the flip, flip, flip side of that coin, there will be tragedy in your life. There will be things that hurt you. There will be really good things that you just have to, you know, take time out of your schedule to go do. And it's okay to do those things. It is okay if you need a moment to kind of collect yourself. It is okay. But if you have clients, if you're working professionally, eh, you better make sure you schedule yourself right. But if it's a hobby and if someone passes away, if someone's getting married, if you're going on a family vacation, it's okay. Hey, maybe bring your sketchbook with you when these things happen because extreme emotions can very well create inspiration. Just if you really love art, don't ever give up on it. It's okay if there are years when you just aren't doing your best. It doesn't mean that you won't do your best again. Fuck, I don't know where I heard this. Oh, God. But Oh, this is going to drive me nuts. If somebody could figure out which video I got this from, please let me know down below. But when you start seeing a bunch of mistakes in your artwork, it doesn't mean that you suck. It means that your brain is leveling up and your body just hasn't caught up yet. That you can see the mistakes that your physical self is making. So that means you're just a stone's throw away from being a better artist. It's, again, just around the corner. Okay, I don't want to get this too rambly, but that was my response to Bailey J's video about art block. And, you know, I don't want to have any beef with any artists here, obviously, and I'm sure no one will misconstrue this video as me trying to have beef. I love Bailey J. I think she's a fantastic artist and an inspiration. You know, one of the greatest YouTube artists here, out here, that she, her content is incredibly high in quality and just amazing. So there's that. I really do hope you guys enjoyed and understood this video. I know that I can sometimes be a bit scrambled and rambly and hop around from point to point. So please let me know in the comments down below if this was universally digestible. A few quick updates. I will be participating in Inktober this year, so I will be posting two videos a week in the month of October only. And those days will be Tuesdays and still Friday. Fridays. I am no longer having specific scheduled upload times because I've been having so many damn technical difficulties with this computer. Once that gets a little bit more straightened out, I may go back to having a rough like estimate time kind of thing, but no more strict times for me. It's just too stressful. If I am having technical difficulties, I will be posting on my Twitter and occasionally on my Snapchat. So make sure to follow me definitely on my Twitter and on my Snapchat if you feel like it. Links will be down in the description 
description. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to stay out of trouble. See you guys later.